Welcome to Trek Trav, I'm Trav, this is a review for Star Trek Strange New World Season 2, Episode 2, and let me see if I can get this right, uh, <clears throat> Ad Astra Per Aspera. <laughs> Uh, if you have not seen the episode, make sure to go and watch the episode and come back. I don't do an episode recap. I'm just talking about my thoughts on the episode, uh, which was really, really good. And I know this review is a bit late, and I'd like it if you'd like, comment, subscribe, share it around if you like. Um, but this episode was your tried and true Star Trek trial episode. There wasn't a whole lot of new stuff, although we learned new stuff about Una herself, number one. Um, Captain Pike didn't feature prominently, but it was important to see that Una's transgression affected the others. Uh, it was a really good episode. The, the actress who played um, the defence, uh, amazing, gave some great speeches, was very eloquent, um, really put the, the storyline and the heart of the message front and centre talking about persecution and bigotry for being different. Uh, this was a true Star Trek episode, generally dealing with uh, slavery or racial issues, of which I obviously, don't, I'm not going to really talk about too much because I don't understand it because I can't understand it. But it was a really, really hard foot episode that really went to the core of Star Trek and Starfleet and the Federation and what it means. Once again, talking about issues with Starfleet while pointing out that Starfleet and the Federation are almost a utopia. And it seems to be one of those things which you have to tread the line really, really carefully. Uh, my favourite part of this episode was learning more about Una because we didn't really get much of Rebecca Romaine last season. We just sort of got the bulk standard uh, episodes last season. And I think this one, from what I've heard, uh, Anson Mount was on paternity leave dealing with his newborn kid. So the episodes, episode one didn't really have Pike and episode two has Pike in it, not too much. Uh, and make sure you stick around after you see this video because I do episode three straight after this. Um, I really enjoyed everything about it. The little exchange with Ortegas and Mbanga about Spock arguing with the Vulcan prosecutor and how Mbanga's like, oh no, they hate each other. They hate each other. And Ortegas is like, what? And then Spock obviously confirming that they don't get along um, and that the prosecutor is a uh, f uh, associate of his father. Uh, it was a really cute little moment, a real sort of Vulcan... The Vulcan's a weird moment, which you get a lot with Vulcans in TOS and in later series. I like the little uh, lapel badges they've got, which are very reminiscent of, obviously, the Menagerie and any other trial episodes in TOS. Uh, I did see a few fans confused as to what the hell they were, um, which is basically just, I don't know, little triangles in a shape. Um, it was a genuinely entertaining episode. The themes especially were really good, talking about discrimination, talking about how uh, Una didn't have a choice to be what she was, and, it's a, and genetic engineering was a part of their culture, and it was just the way they were. And it's interesting that they placed, obviously, an African-American or an African-Canadian woman in the role of the defence, and then, obviously, Una as a white woman in that position, because it... it takes away the directness of it, uh, which I, you can argue that there's a, a lot of, the best episodes of Star Trek deal with things head on, I feel, but this took it as a, look, this woman outwardly is beautiful and no different than anyone else, but she's different on the inside and it's something she can't change and it's something that's a part of her. And it's, it's an interesting juxtaposition that we sort of get that doesn't it's one of those things and strange new worlds does it whereas discovery doesn't and i don't think picard really did which is where they used a sort of metaphor to deal with the big topic whereas um a lot of the new star trek doesn't really do that my uh, my enjoyment of this episode was tempered by the fact that i did feel with episode one 
it was very much a continuation of season one. And it's the same with uh, this episode. It feels a little bit like, oh, we're just sort of in the middle of a season. And I think it's because it's a trial episode, which is so uniquely Star Trek. We've had them in all the series. It's a very pointed thing, but it does give a sense of, we have done this before. There are certain tropes that have been done. Even the topics being discussed within the trial and the way that um, the, the defence is shown to be amazingly logical and passionate about fighting for Illyrians to be treated fairly within the Federation and within Starfleet. A lot of this stuff had been handled in other areas of Star Trek. We obviously get mention of the eugenics wars um, again, and I don't know why we haven't got a eugenics war series yet, but we will, I'll discuss it in the next episode where it might be a bit more prevalent. But overall, although it was a brilliant episode and that hug between Una and Pike at the end, I was just like, oh. Nothing beats a captain and commander who care about each other and are friends. Um, I really enjoyed that moment. I enjoyed, obviously, Una is closer with La'an, so you've got a little moment with her. There was just, a, I enjoyed getting to know Una as a character, and it's taken a season and a bit to get that episode. Uh, overall, the visual effects look beautiful. They always do. I did notice that the courtroom was the... 32nd century Starfleet Command, just redressed. Uh, the same as in episode one, the crossfield ship that they had built was just the Discovery sets redressed. Um, obviously, they're trying to save a little bit of money on things. Uh, and I don't mind that, because the old series did that. Like, notoriously, the transporter from the motion picture is the same transporter that was in the end of Voyager. Like, it's the, it was the, literally the same lights that they used. Uh, it was a really, really good episode. The season's going well, but it has yet to wow me. So make sure to leave what you liked about it in the comments and what you felt about certain things. I feel this episode was strong, but very samey. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next review, which should be up by the time this review's up, because I'm late. Uh, for episode three, uh, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Uh, thank you, I've been Trek Trav.